person has a historical perspective on the evolution of the nuclear family so you have to remember again that if we are talking about the nuclear family the nuclear family is something uh, that there should be a husband wife and their kids uh, in their first marriage so this uh, immediate uh, family is known as uh, nuclear family so person has a historical perspective on the evolution of the nuclear family uh, his functional fit theory is that as society changed the type of the family that fits that society and the function it's performed change over the last 200 years society has moved from pre-industrial to industrial and the main family type has changed or you can say from the extended family to the nuclear family the nuclear family fits the more complex industrial society better uh, but it's perform reduce the number of the function the extended family consists consists of a parents, uh, grand spa and aunts and uncles living under one roof or in the collection of the house very close to each other. Such a large family unit fitted pre-industrial societies as the family was entirely responsible for the education children, producing foods, caring for sake, basically it did everything for all its member. However, in contrast to pre-industrial society, uh, the industrial society uh, from 18, 1800s in the UK the isolated nuclear family consisting of the family parents and children becomes norms this type of family fits industrial society because it required mobile workforce the extended family was too difficult to move and families needed to move on to work to the meet the requirement of the rapidly change and the growing economy so if you look at uh, he discussed in the fifth thesis that there were a pre-modern society the pre-modern society there were the extended family was the dominant family and they were uh, multiple functions they were performing like they were responsible for uh, uh, their kids teaching uh, or kids learning kids educations and they were uh, working on producing foods and caring for all sick children but now when society moves into modern society the nuclear family has been emerged as a dominant family setting uh, as as industrialization come into the part uh, urbanization has been increased the urban areas has been expanded and uh, geographical mobilities uh, have been increased or one on, on its peak because people want to move from one place to another uh, in the order to you know meet the requirement of their uh, basic need or their, their financial needs so because of that uh, fast mobility nepotism comes into the existence that it was difficult uh, for them or you can say extended family was too difficult to move when families needed to move to find the work to meet the requirement of a rapidly change and the growing economy what they do basically they uh, they find and they uh, they move their immediate family so it that was very easy for them to you know hold on everything so in the extended family they were uh, they were doing uh, many multi functions but extended family uh, as uh, rapidly going or you can say the geographical mobility uh, or urbanization expansion or industri industrialization uh, has been increased the functions of the family have been reduced there was also less need for the extended family as more as more function uh, such as the health and education gradually come to be carried out by the state so we discussed that uh, two, there are basically two irreducible functions of the family according to the person although the nuclear family perform reduced function it is still only institution that can perform two core functions uh, the first one is primary socialization and stabilization of the adult personality the nuclear family is still responsible for uh, teaching children the norms and the values of the society known as primary socialization an important part of the socialization according to the function is, is the gender role socialization if primary socialization is done correctly then boys learn to adopt the instrumental role also known as a uh, breadwinner role or they go on to uh, go out to work and earns money girls learn to adopt the expressive role doing all caring work housework and bringing up the children and if we talk about the stabilization of the adult personality uh, the stabilization of the adult personality refers to the uh, emotional security which is achieved uh, within a uh, marital relationship between two adults according to the person working life in an industrial society is stressful and the family is a place where the working man can return and be de-stressed 
by his wife which reduced the conflict in the society this is also known as uh, warm bath theory and we have some uh, criticism on the parson theory and uh, it is the first criticism is that it's too neat social change doesn't happen in uh, in such an orderly manner so this is uh, something that it looks like very scripted thing and uh, you can't say that everything this script will happen in the society and another uh, criticism that the 10% of the household contain the extended kin before uh, industrial revolution so this suggests that family was already nuclear before industrialization as well the third uh, uh, criticism on parson that extended kin's networks were still strong in the east london as late as 1970 so that was the idea given by the person on uh, or given idea to support the family in the functionalist on the functionalist perspective